Lori Harvey, the queen of the dating scene, has had her fair share of headline-making romances. But now fans are calling her out for revolving around her yearly door of relationships. Playboy life of Lori Harvey. Miss Family Feud has a flawless resume. Fellas, 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 see? That's why you don't want no chick like Lori Harvey. She's for the streets. Lori Harvey is a great, a great example of, you know, experience, but also trying different flavors. As you all know, Damson is dating Lori Harvey. Um, more power to that man. <laughs> From music moguls to movie stars, Lori has been linked to some of the most eligible bachelors in town. But now the tables have been turned and Lori finds herself on the other side of the spotlight as she gets exposed as a relationship hoe. It's a tale as old as time, but with a modern twist. Will Lori be able to weather the storm or will this be the end of her reign as the dating queen? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, it's going to be one hell of a ride. Just remember that you're the prize always. Say that one that. more time. Just remember <laughs> that you are the prize. Yes! And set your standards high and don't ever, ever settle. Despite the public opinions, Lori never wants to settle for low. That's why she always reminds herself and women out there that never forget. You are the prize. Just remember that you're the prize always. Say that, that one more time. Just remember <laughs> that you are the prize. Yes. That's like his golden slogan for me. Yeah. And so. what does that mean for you in relationships when you're like, I'm the prize? What does that mean? It just means not compromising like my values, my happiness, my peace, not settling for less than what I know I deserve and not being afraid to walk away from a situation if it's like no longer serving me. Well, Lori being Lori, she's not one to shy away from drama. In fact, she's taking it all in stride. She's openly speaking out against the misconceptions that some people have about her relationships, saying that people have got it all wrong, but the stories they've come up with are truly hilarious. Now, we don't know yet how much is the truth behind her statement, but she's not letting anything get to her. She's just shrugging it off and letting the stories roll off her shoulders. She is living her best life and isn't letting anyone bring her down. She entangled with future in a pair of Gucci flip-flops, but the dirty soda in a styrofoam proved too toxic to last. She was sprung by the smooth sounds of Trey Song's yodeling, but it turns out he most definitely did not invent sex. She romanced the heir to the throne in Justin Combs, along with the ultimate bad boy in Diddy. It's a family affair. But he dedicated more time to Harlem shaking than their relationship. She dated veteran of the music industry, Bu Tian, but no one wanted to see Akon's brother and Lori together. She was engaged to Barcelona striker Memphis Depay, but he couldn't convert on the counterattack, so his ass was relegated. She's now in love with Michael B. Jordan, an honorable bachelor who can beat it up both in and out of the ring. At 26 years old, Lori Harvey has dated enough to know who and what she wants in her partner. As you probably know, she's had a number of high-profile relationships since entering the public eye, including with future Diddy, Michael B. Jordan, and most recently, Damson Idris. Quite recently, Lori Harvey and her new boyfriend, Damson Idris, made the relationship Instagram official amid her 26th birthday. The Snowfall star shared a photo of himself giving Harvey a kiss on the cheek. Happy birthday, Nunu, Idris captioned his Instagram story. Lori even shared his romantic tribute via her social media account. Well, fans have some interesting opinions regarding her new relationship with the Snowfall star. One of them tweeted, She's a relationship hoe. You're my boyfriend, so now we can do stuff. Then after it fizzles out, on to the next body. Looks like fans are going all out on Lori this time. One of them also says that Lori is just going to run from this relationship as well when she feels Damson is ready for the next step, as that's what she always does with her partners. She dates them for a few months or a year and then dumps them, to which some even say she acts like a man, just choosing whoever she wants to date with no regard for their feelings. Well, it's not that she doesn't value love, but does have a different definition about it. When asked about the importance of love in her life, she even told E! News that love is basically a foundation for everything for her. How important is love in your life? Love is so important. Love is the foundation, I feel like, to everything. I love that you say a single woman, because obviously you've been in some very public relationships over the years, and you actually told Essence, I feel like it's always been about me attached to something or someone. 
This time, it's about me. It's my time. Still, she wants to be seen as a single woman and not be attached to anyone. It's just her way to see the world where nothing is important but herself. Still, she wants people to know her as who she really is, but at the same time demands some grace, which people only give who they want. She's a young woman. She's growing. She's figuring it out. She's having to figure it out in the public eye. Yeah, not easy. Um, you know, just allow her some grace as she's moving. And Not only that, she always wanted to be the one who should be cherished, loved, and treated like a queen. Looks like she has a whole list on which she never wants to compromise, especially in her relationships. It just means not compromising like my values, my happiness, my peace, not settling for less than what I know I deserve and not being afraid to walk away from a situation if it's like no longer serving me. Recently, the dating guru opened up about her dating terms on Bumble's Love to See It with Tania Taylor that she would most likely apply in her present or upcoming relationships. She even told us some of the most telling signs she looks for in a partner, listing her top green flags and red flags. Okay, so what was one of the most important flags, red or green, that you looked for upon meeting someone? Red or green? Okay, let's go. Green, I would say just like transparency and like mm. openness, communication, not trying to beat around the bush or act like you want something that you maybe really don't. Looks like Lori Harvey has taken her dating drama and turned it into a teachable moment for all of us. From her experience, she pointed out that communication is a key in a relationship. And if your partner makes you feel good, that's a green flag. If you're laughing, having fun and comfortable, that's also a green flag. She further said, it's like, you know, just be open and honest about what you're doing, Lori continued. Just cut the games. Okay, so if you had a red, what would it be? I would say if you're too close to your exes, mm. that's a red flag. One of the main red flags she highlighted was having too much communication with an ex. She said that when you're in a relationship, it's important to be committed and focused on your current partner. If you're still having constant communication with an ex, it could be a sign that you're not fully invested in the current relationship, which is definitely a red flag. She also emphasized that it's not only about the amount of communication, but also about the nature of the communication. If you're still discussing personal and intimate matters with your ex, it's a sign that you're not fully over them. She elaborated her point saying, I don't want y'all to have beef either because then that gets messy. But if there's too much communication, that just makes her uncomfortable. It's not adding up for me, Lori said, agreeing with Tanea that she would prefer them to just get back together. What make you feel powerful like when dating? Not compromising my values and like my standards yeah. and my requirements. Yeah. Seems like she is clear about her views regarding a perfect relationship. Lori highlighted the importance of being confident and self-assured. She also advised that you should know what you want and being clear about your boundaries makes you powerful in a relationship. Another point Lori made was about being independent and not relying too much on the relationship to fulfill your needs. As having a sense of self and being able to stand on your own two feet makes you powerful in a relationship. It gives you the ability to make decisions and choices that are best for you and your relationship without feeling dependent on your partner. Describe how taking control improves the overall dating experience. I think you'll just be happier at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, Harvey reminded viewers that you should never find yourself compromising your peace and happiness when you're in a relationship. If you are, you're losing a part of yourself. Don't give your power away to anybody. That I feel is the key to being truly happy in or out of a relationship, she insisted. As for those who wonder if she would change anything in her dating past, the 25 year old confidently proclaimed that she wouldn't because she learned so much in the process. She offered this advice to others. I feel like if a situation's no longer serving you, there's nothing wrong with leaving that situation. I almost got married very young, Lori revealed. She didn't go into detail about the circumstances, but she did say that it was a valuable learning experience for her. Well, people are still not liking the way Harvey takes her relationships. It's like relationships are just a joke for her. Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey call it quits after just over a year of dating. But her current boyfriend, her split news with Michael B. Jordan, sent the internet into a total frenzy, and fans were not a bit happy about it. Michael and Lori are both completely heartbroken, the source said at the time. Not only that, a source close to the model and influencer told People that Harvey wasn't ready to commit, 
adding she is very focused on her career. According to the insider, Harvey realized that they weren't on the same page while she and Jordan were making plans for their future. She still wants to have fun and be free, the source said. On the other hand, Michael is a great guy. She is sad that their relationship didn't work out, but she is moving on. I have learned from Lori or lesson is the fact that Lori knows there are plenty of fish in the sea. And so she's not afraid to leave. She doesn't have a scarcity mindset. Who she's dated or how many men she's dated, she now has a good knowledge of the things she likes. Looks like some fans are taking lessons now inspired by Harvey's dating history. So it's a must to give Lori some credit as who knows, maybe she's just a hopeless romantic girl trying to find her happily ever after. Or maybe she's just a serial dater who's just having fun. After all, isn't that what dating is all about? Finding out what you want, even if it takes a few tries. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.